Shalom and welcome to Mitzvah of Torah. This year is entitled Harabai number 113. How do we determine Psach Halacha? This Shaila really applies to every area of Halacha, but specifically, we're going to learn it and see its application to Harabai. So, in the previous year, we spoke a little bit about the Beit and Hagadol. So, the Beit and Hagadol works that the Psukim say in Shoftim, if there's a question, Mamonos, Tumat, Tahara, local rabbis, local Beitin cannot figure it out. You go up to Beitin Hagadol, and they determine it. Yet the Mishnah in Hariyot, the very first Mishnah says, the Beitin Hagadol Paskins, and you know they're wrong, don't you listen to them? Well, you have to listen to them according to Shoftim, or you should listen to them if you're Tamar Which one? So the Ramban in uh, Shoresh Rishon, in his commentary on Sefer Mitzvot, says, that if you have a separate opinion, you have to follow that opinion, but then you go up to Har Harbayi, to the Sanhedrin, to the Migdash, and you argue it out with the Beit HaGadol. And if they're convinced of your position, fine. And if they think you're wrong, and they continue to paskin like their original position, you must back off at that point. You have to follow them. But till you have Masa Matan, the discussion with them, then you have a right to keep to your opinion. So Rav Zanichem Goberg has a fascinating idea. He says that Vikamta Valita, it says, which says that a person has a, a, an issue, then he goes up. He says it might be a chovah, an obligation. If you have a different sheet than the, than the Sanhedrin, it could be, he says, you have an obligation to go up and argue with them. Hash it out with them, back, forth, back, forth, because you cannot keep the status of divrei revot, where the Beit and has one position and you have a different position. You cannot maintain that. And therefore, you must go up and have it out with them. And if you can convince them, great. If you don't convince them and they still hold by the position, well, once you had it out with them and they were both sides presented, then the psak remains like them and you can no longer hold by your psak. And that's the halacha, according to Ramban, according to Rasanachim Goldberg. Shalom.